In this problem, we have some points plotted on the coordinate plane, and we're being asked to tell what part of the plane they lie in or lie on, uh, which quadrant they're in, or if they're on an axis, which axis is it that they're on. This system of coordinates like this with an x axis and a y axis, so you can plot out points that represent two values, uh, we call this the Cartesian coordinate system or the Cartesian plane. And it's because of this guy, Rene Descartes. He was a Frenchman uh, living in the 1600s, and he probably wasn't the first person to use this. Uh, other people around the same time were using it. Uh, others maybe before him were, but he was the first one to publish about it. So his name gets associated with it. So in the Cartesian coordinate system, you have an x-axis. That's the horizontal line here with uh, positive values going out to the right and negative values going out to the left. And then we have a y-axis. That's the vertical line, the red one here, with positive numbers going up and negative numbers going down. So if you had the point with an x-value of a positive 2, you'd find 2 on the x-axis. And then if, let's say, it had a y-value of positive 3, you'd go up to 3 on the y and plot it like that. That point... 2, 3 is in quadrant 1. Here on the upper right, we start with quadrant 1, and then we go counterclockwise around into these four parts that the two axes divide everything into. So quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. Uh, we usually refer to them in Roman numerals. That, that's just a convention. Um, so those are the axes and the quadrants. So I think that's all the information we need to know to answer these questions. It says, name the quadrant or axis where each point lies. And we're going to start with point B. So B is not on an axis. It's not on one of these lines here. So it's in this quadrant, and we know that's quadrant 2 because we start in the upper right and we go counterclockwise. This is 1, this is 2. So this is quadrant 2. So I'm just going to put Q2. All right, next is point J. That's not on an axis either, so we need to know which quadrant. And if we start here, we have 1, 2, 3, 4. So that's quadrant 4 for point J. And then point Q, uh-huh, it's on an axis. So it's not really in um, one quadrant or the other. It's right on this axis. And this one, this vertical line that goes up and down, uh, this is the y-axis. So point Q is on the y-axis. And then finally, point W is right here in quadrant 1. So that is how to find the quadrant or the axis and which points lie.